What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So I'm still very, very bullish on AMC. I've talked about AMC a lot um, in my past. I've talked about cryptocurrency. Um, I talk about investments, right? But when it comes to the stock market, we understand that the stock market is heavily manipulated. And we can't sit here and prove it with um, any type of backing from where it's manipulated. We can prove with um, things that we see within the data. And that's what we're trying to show. It doesn't make sense how something could be short so much and how a business can be attacked uh, from the inside, but it does get done that way to get attacked, not from the inside of the business, but from the inside of the financial industry, I guess, if you're looking at it that way. And it's it's shocking to me that you know firms want to see companies go out of business. This is why I think that shorting is a problem. Yes, I make money from shorting, but do I make money from shorting to where I'm looking to collapse a business? No, I don't have that much money to do so. And even if I did, I still would not do it. It doesn't make sense to do that, right? You're trying to make money on the downfall of businesses or an industry and to be stubborn and prove that you are right and show how much money you have by maintaining this for a number of years when we know that eventually it's going to all collapse from underneath you. And if we remain strong in where we are, things are gonna look horrible for you, which tend to look bad for the entire market. And then we start to realize what we're doing wrong here. That's the same thing that happened with the, the uh, housing uh, market and how you know we were like, oh, banks are doing everything right. They can't do anything wrong. They're making record profits, all of these other things. And then you know we held out, people held out, um, you know, the investors that were uh, kind of going against wh what they were doing were holding and holding strong, not understanding what was going on, but was holding strong. And we're kind of in that same boat. And what happened now we put in different, um, different types of checks, different types of uh, stoppages within the market to make sure that people recover, people cool off. We don't see the markets drop by 20%. We see it drop by a certain amount. They stop trading within the market. Um, we see it drop by um, the same amount or another uh, a larger amount. Then we stop trading for the day. And that's where you start to see those stops that are in place. And it makes it a good situation so that it doesn't drop as much. But now we're in kind of a same situation with AMC and um, a lot of other positions that are being heavily shorted and people like us, the retail investors, are figuring this out. So guys, I'm very bullish on AMC. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more of these videos. Uh, welcome to my NFA channel to where I'm going to talk about stock-related content over here because I talk about crypto on my main channel. So why not bring up stock-related content over here and break down this um, you know, as a whole? So. Like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you guys want to trade on the platform that I'm viewing, it's Weeble. I have a link in the description for that. And if you want to trade cryptocurrencies, I have KuCoin, Crypto.com, Coinbase, all of that, all of those that are down below. So let's take a look at AMC a little bit. I think we need to start um, with just the short interest data, right? So if we go into Ortex, we're going to see that one, it has a short score of 90. Right, knowing that this is heavily shorted, you can see all the different detail that really show us, yeah, this is gonna blow up in their face eventually. Right now we're looking at a 23.4, 23.5 um, estimated short interest of free float. That is insane, that is crazy. If we look at a comparison, um, just giving yourself uh, Amazon, right? just throwing Amazon up here, um, wherever that is, uh, that's that's not Amazon. There it is right there. So if we're looking at Amazon and we go and look at the short uh, score that's there, short score, 27. What's the estimated short interest of free float? Less than 1%. That's where you understand something is not heavily short, not because they just believe in the fact that it's going to be short, um, it's going to crash or the markets are crashing, the movie industry is crashing and all that stuff. It It's because they just want to recoup their investment and they're going to keep attacking it because they believe that people are going to uh, give up on the movie industry. I feel like the movie industry can't survive without theaters, right? You look at uh, how much it's costing for movies to be done. You need theaters, right? You need them. It's costing you, you know, 200 million, $300 million to go through a movie with all of the CGI and everything there. Um, that you need the ticket sales. You can't just go on Netflix and have people share their accounts. That's why Netflix wanted to kind of push back on that and to see that they're not doing that 
um, they kind of, uh, you know, went back on their word and trying to stop people from sharing their accounts. But that's a problem, right? Because it's costing Netflix money to have people share their accounts and not buy an individual ticket per se uh, per month by owning Netflix or, or owning the uh, subscription of Netflix. So it's definitely an issue on the subscription side, on the streaming side versus actual movie theaters. So you can see that it has a score again of 90, uh, 90 here um, and you see 23.49% of free float, which is insane to see the the amount um you know of shorting that's going on within this position so we know it's super strong um you know related to related to that there but if we go into the actual position and see what's happening here today in the in the markets the markets don't really look positive right you're seeing rumble that's down coin that's down you're seeing roblox that's down ape that's down a lot of other positions that are down tesla's down some uh big um, tech companies are down as well, but you're seeing AMC that's actually up by about 2%. It's at $5.35. We saw this at a high, you know, within the last year, if we're looking at 52 week high, we saw this at $21. The all time high that we saw this at um, was around uh, $76 or so. And that was because everything kind of blew up in their face related to the shorts. And they wanted to limit where we were going to get to. This has massive potential way past that $76 point. Um, it has massive potential because of the amount of shorts that are going through it, the amount of people that are believing in it still, uh, the amount of growth that we see within this position. I know a lot of people are looking at it and like, ah, I don't really see it. Some people are like, oh, well, you know, you're just investing in this and you're kind of beating a dead horse here. Um, you're not investing into the right plays. You know, why should I follow you? First of all, I don't suggest anybody follows me. Um, I'm just giving out information. And if you guys want to make an investment based off of what I'm seeing, I mean, that is on you to make that investment. I'm not going to tell you that I am making the investment for you or making that decision for you. You need to ultimately make that decision to hit that buy button. I'm not doing it for you. Um, but I do hold AMC. I hold about, um, I think it's like 2000 or so. Let me go ahead and do this. Um, yeah, so I hold about 1,300 over here. I do hold, yeah, it's about 1,500, I think, or 1,600, because I hold some over in my Fidelity account as well. So I'm definitely holding, definitely believing in this position, definitely see the strength within it. Um, we understand that, again, this did hit a, a high here, um, the highest point showing uh, $44 for uh, this period. Um, and this is looking month by month by month. That's the highest point that it did hit. I believe it went uh, way higher than that at certain points. Yeah, way higher than that at certain points. So uh, we'll have to fully look into that. But it was $76 is a high point. I know the candlesticks tend to show you something different. Um, but it did fall down. We're seeing it below the 200 EMA. We want to find a way to climb back to this 200 EMA, the uh, purple line, not the pink line. Um, the pink line, yes, we want to climb back there as well, which is $8.70. The purple line, we want to get back to $11.69. My cost basis is $21, and I'm not feeling it at all, right? I'm feeling that it's going to grow. I'm just not feeling any type of pressure to sell my position because I know how strong AMC can be and how much I believe in movie theaters. I'm a big movie guy, right? I love movies. I go and see every movie we see movies um, on Netflix, on Disney Plus, on uh, HBO Max, um, in theaters, um, whatever theater it is, we go um, literally spend our whole entire life through movies. My life, um, as well as me and my wife's relationship, and also now the relationship I have with my children, we go to the movie theaters, they love movies, they love, uh, well, Hayden kind of cried in the beginning, but now she absolutely loves movies. Every time she sits in there, she, she loves watching the, the movies on the big screen. Um, so I'm excited to see where this goes investment wise, as well as um, where this goes business wise. So that's what I have for AMC guys. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.